happy Friday, everybody. It is March 6th and time for this week's Friday Funnies. And I am here today to tell you the end is near. The end of winter, that is. Look at this. What a beautiful day in Chicago. It's only going to last about 24 hours before it snows again, but I am convinced that we are in the home stretch of winter. And before you know it, both the temperature and the Dow Jones Index will both be in their 70s. President Obama urged us this week to buy stocks, but he didn't tell us where we're supposed to get the money. Personally, I'm investing wisely by putting all of my funds into forever stamps. Forever stamps. Postage is going up in May, two cents. So I have purchased one million forever stamps. That means when postage goes up, my investment is worth $20,000 more. Oh sure, you can call me nuts if you like, but you're not going to see me standing in line at Christmas time waiting to buy overpriced stamps. Well, there is no other investment advice in this week's funnies, just the usual stupid people doing stupid things. Here then are the stupidest. The first story I like to call, Dude, Where's My Kitty? Asia Schumacher, that's the guy's first name, Asia, A-C-E-A. Anyhow, Asia Schumacher knew exactly where his cat named Lincoln was. He just wanted to teach him a lesson. According to Schumacher of Omaha, Nebraska, Lincoln, the cat, not the other city in Nebraska, was getting a little too rambunctious. So he decided to calm him down by stuffing him inside of his home inside of his homemade plexiglass bong and then he infused him with ganja smoke. This guy made his own bong big enough for a cat to fit in with a garden hose coming out of it to suck on. Anyhow, he was charged with animal cruelty. Lincoln is going to be fine. Although he currently has taken an interest in Grateful Dead music and he's eating about 12 cans of little friskies a day. We've got two cases this week of what I like to call fast food felonies. And the first one comes from Fort Pierce, Florida. How's that for alliteration, huh? Latresa Goodman down there ordered and paid for a 10-piece serving of McNuggets at her local McDonald's restaurant. Well, as she was waiting for her order, the restaurant said, Hey, we're out of McNuggets, but we can't give you your money back. Rather than accept another food item, Latresa did what any rational thinking McDonald's customer would do. She called 911 to report the malfeasance. And she didn't just do it once. She called 911 three times. That's the equivalent of 2,733. Anyhow, she was charged with misuse of 911, but a spokesman for the restaurants, a Mayor McCheese, said that her money was eventually refunded and she was given a gift certificate for McNuggets, which are currently out of stock. All right, our second fast food felony happened at a Chuck E. Cheese pizza restaurant in New Bedford, Massachusetts. Now, if you've never been in a Chuck E. Cheese, consider yourself very, very lucky. This restaurant is packed full. It's swarming with kids who are all jacked up on, on Coca-Cola and pizza, and they're playing video games, and they're interacting with a giant costumed mouse, hence Chuck E. Cheese. Well, Trahan Pyers took his son to Chuck E. Cheese to celebrate his birthday, and while he was there, he swore that he saw the big mouse bump his son into a video game. So Mr. Pyers did what any rational thinking Chuck E. Cheese customer would do. He attacked the mouse and ripped off his head. Oh. That's right. Little kids went screaming and the poor guy in the mouse costume kept screaming, I'm not a real mouse. They don't pay me enough for this. <laughs> One more story, and I entitled this one, Idiots Out Walking Around. I-O-W-A, it's a popular acronym for the residents of Iowa, but I'm here today to tell you not all people in Iowa are idiots, only the ones in government. This week, the Iowa House approved a bill changing the name of the Department of Elder Affairs to the Department of Aging, D-O-A. Ooh, I'll bet you all the senior citizens in Iowa feel much better knowing that to the government they are already DOA. I say let them uh, RIP. Revolt in public. Power to the geezers. Hey, that's all I have for you this week. Remember, this weekend is daylight savings time. Time to save some daylight. So make sure you set your clocks ahead one hour sometime this weekend. It really doesn't make any difference. See you next week. Don't be late.